Okay, guys, so let's look at the um, Platinum Bar video. Warcraft's stupidest dragon. It's kind of like, uh, you know, good when we, we're coming into Dragonflight here. Okay, let's look at this, guys. Let us see what this is all about. With the new Dragonflight expansion coming out, we know that there are going to be multiple returning characters whose yeah. stories will continue in this expansion. One of these characters is named Rathion. One of the more interesting and complex characters in the game's history. The isn't, story of the yeah, Black... Okay. Isn't this guy... Uh, dude, FYI, I'm a little bit uh, loose on the new retail lore, uh, so we'll have to see. Okay, we'll see what, how, how it happens. Dragonflight Prince has spanned over multiple expansions, yeah. and the situations he's been in, and the decisions he has made, have been... questionable at best. Yeah. Let's learn about this... So he's like... The male version of Sylvanas. Is this, is this what it is? Like, he's like Sylvanas, but like a dragon version. So that this is like the current one we have for this one. Dragons, blunders, triumphs, and ultimately... Is, is, that, is that what we're talking about? No? He's good? Oh, he's a good guy! Dude, I am so out of the loop with lore. He's not evil. He fucks Anduin. What do you mean when you say fucks? Do you mean like... He's Anduin's boyfriend. Oh. Oh, you mean, you mean like actually? He's Anduin's boy. Oh. Okay, okay. Oh, okay. He's been labeled as one of Warcraft's stupidest dragons. <laughs> <laughs> well, that, all right. The origin of the Black Prince is in a zone you probably wouldn't expect. Across the barren dunes and ravines of the Badlands. This zone, man, I hate this zone, dude. You have to get a, there's a quest in, 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 in Vanilla WoW called the Black Drake's Enchantment, I think, where you have to get a Black Drake's Heart. And I have literally spent hours doing this, this one quest. Oh my God, it's so not worth. Lands, a red dragon by the name of Reyestraza is experimenting with black dragon eggs. Oh no. Under the guise of a goblin, she simply goes by Rhea. What's up? With the help of the player characters, <laughs> okay. you partake in a quest line that involves the imprisonment yeah. of a black dragon named Naixandra, who is being forced to lay eggs by Rhea. The reason for this is she is what? trying to experiment and try and purify these dragon eggs of corruption. Wait, 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 hold on a second. So dragons are sort of like chickens. Where, like, they, they just lay eggs constantly, right? So it's like, they always do that. Yeah, okay. Okay, yeah, okay. I, they're, they're, they're like a chicken. They're like a big chicken that uh, breathes fire, basically. Okay, interesting. Okay. Because literally almost every black dragon is corrupted. And while it might be a noble Touch. cause, uh, yeah, no, uh... uh it's a pretty brutal thing to do for a member of the Red Dragon Flight. Yeah. Anyways, during this quest line, you find a Titan device that purifies one of the eggs. Obviously, the Black Dragon Flight does not like their eggs being stolen and experimented Naturally. on, so they attack the player character. In the process, you kill Nyxandra. This quest line Oof. ends with Rhea being burned to literal ash by Deathwing. But that purified egg had found its way to the Twilight Highlands, where the Red Dragon Flight are protecting it for safekeeping and uh, until it gets stolen. Yeah. <laughs> oh, hi. This section of our story is a core part for the. What is this? Is this like a Batman outfit? What is, is this like a tear set? Is it looks like a scuffed Batman? So this is like the rogue um, thing in like Legion, right? Legendary daggers questline for rogues in Cataclysm. Cataclysm. Am I getting old? I thought that was in Legion. Oh my god. I think I might be getting old. I literally thought that was Legion. God damn it, I'm old. Jesus. Korostraza is understandably upset. Under her care was the one black dragon egg that we believe was free of the taint of Deathwing's corruption. Yeah. And it was stolen away from us by thieves in the night. You've found for us our only lead. The rogues from Ravenholt are behind this. Oh, I remember this. Ravenholt? It just yeah. doesn't make sense. A mongrel band of petty thieves? How did they even know about the egg? Egg. We'll get to the bottom of this. 
madness. And so, the player Jeez. character and the Red Dragon Mostraz travel to Ravenhold Manor, and rogue players put this their cool skills quest. to the test and sneak into the building and creep into the dark depths of the basement nice. in order to find their prized egg. Quests like this are cool. I, I like that. It, it gives, like, it's a lot of, like, I know it's a meme, but, like, it's, it's really, really good, like, game, like, fantasy. It's a nice fantasy, right, that, you know, you play as your character. It's sick. That's right, mortal. The prize you seek no longer sleeps within a shell. Oh, no. Here I am. Rathion. In the flesh. I'm not some trophy for a red dragon's mantelpiece, and I'm never going back. What is this Don't like look fate? so surprised. We dragons are conscious even within our shells. As I grew, I could hear the plotting and scheming. I okay. was to be born a prisoner, but I'm is one of a kind. A black Is this really his old model? Sorry for like pausing, but like prisoner. But I'm one of a kind. Is this really the how he looked like in game? In Cataclysm? This looks so bad. He looks like a Minecraft character. What? Kind. A black dragon raised free from the taint of my father's corruption. And that's how I intend to stay. Free. Your yeah. Highness. Okay, Muffer. Huh? That's rude. That's what they went with? Yeah. We caught this beast snooping around the caves just outside the compound. I'm not afraid of you. Oh, wait. Who, who are you? That's the egg. Okay. You don't recognize your former prisoner? Shall we execute him, my prince? No. I want him to deliver a message to the Red Dragonflight. Tell them that I am free of my father's madness, and I will be free of them as well. Oh, shoot. I am to be left alone. This will be my first and only warning. But, but Deathwing's minions may have you killed. Deathwing's minions should be afraid of me. Dude, he, Get him oh. out of here. He and is very... Rod. He has a lot of anger penned up in him, man. Holy cow. How was the raid? The Gruul's Lair? It, it was good. I got some shoulders. I didn't get DST, but uh, maybe next week. Break his legs. What? Yes, sir. Now then, my okay. new friend. We have much to talk about. <laughs> this is actually the player, The man. player character teams <laughs> yeah. up with Rathion and his roguish goons to dispatch of his corrupted Dragonflight relatives and Deathwing himself. Okay. Players travel to the ruins of Gilneas, the Tower of Karazhan, and even the final raid in Cataclysm cool. to defeat Deathwing and claim the components to make their legendary daggers. Once that's all done, they return to Ravenholtz to discover a grisly aftermath. Oh. Dude, he's pissed. Your eyes do not deceive you. The treacherous red dragon flight sought to kill me off. I Wait, so the so rogues were the only one that had like a thing like this in, in, in Kata? This is like really badass. Like the quest chain itself that, you know, you do all this shit. That's so cool. Because I, I haven't done the quest myself because I quit in Kata, but I know that like um, it's like really, really bad. You have to like sneak around, do like a bunch of like rogue stuff. It's, it's really sick. Yeah, man. That's so cool. Hope now you see the truth about them. Champion. Champion. You have your reward. The daggers. But there is one final dragon we need to slay. My prince, we should leave this place in case they come back to finish the job. Barad, I was just talking about you. The final black dragon. The one who's been more hidden than any of them. Your Highness, I have never tried to conceal what I am from you. Oh, yes. shit. You rescued me while I was still within my egg, and I owe you my life. But you are a black dragon, that... and you share the corruption of all my brothers Dude, Rathion, and that's sisters. Kind of... that... It's That's not true. You can't. Do you deny it? You can't do that, Rathian. The Rathian. dark visions, the voices in your head. No. Okay. No. I am in control of the voices. They're here to help me. And what are they telling you now, Farad? 
What do your dark masters whisper? They Dude. want me to kill you now. Okay. Oh, why did you have to go and anger them? You have proven too difficult to control. Jesus. I will never be controlled. But I were watching an anime. Has no idea what they unleashed when they experimented on my egg. Hero, strike now. Use your newfound power it is to an anime. finish him. Do it now, Deku. <laughs> 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 Just like go up and like do a little done, attack. Friend. To my knowledge, I am the only black dragon who remains. A new age for mortals has dawned, and heroes like you are. Yeah, I bet they're cool. Yeah, the cutscene's pretty cool in game. The it's cool though. I must go now. Disappear. Perhaps we will meet again. I hope we find ourselves on the same side. Uh -huh. Oh, Oh yeah, he's still like he he like literally just hatched. Yeah, he, he just hatched. Man, I unironically, really, I actually like these zones look so cool, man. I like them a lot, the the mob zones. I think a lot of them look so badass. But it wouldn't take long for us to run into the new self-proclaimed leader of the Dragonflight, because in the next expansion, Mist of Pandaria, Rathion wandered across this new continent. While exploring this strange new land, he made his home in an inn called the Tavern of the Mists. There's also a drugged out vermin under the floorboards of the inn, and in the back- He's literally called Tweak. <laughs> Wait, why is there like a monkey here? There's a bunch of monkeys in a hot tub. Oh. This is oh. not important to our story, but I just felt the need to mention it. Pandaria. Oh, cool. A land of mystery, history, and opportunity. Does she have a gun? Dude, look at her, man. She looks badass. Also, during this time, the young dragon got two bodyguards, who are simply named Left and Right. Apparently, okay. this is a reference from Game of Thrones, where an old grandma also has guards who are referred to as Left and Right. But, uh... Well, then it's Hyrule. I don't know. I'm not a nerd who reads that stuff. Anyways, while the Horde and the Alliance waged war trying to claim the territory... God, I'm so sad about the Game of Thrones ending, man. Oh, dude, I watched Game of Thrones last year for the first time, man, and it was so good, and then, like, you know, that thing happened, you know, when he was like, you guys remember the thing that happened with that guy in the toilet with a crossbow, and then, like, it just went downhill, and then, like, she forgot that there was a literal fleet below her as she flew over with her dragons, and, like, who does not know that there is a fleet when you are literally at war, invading the, the castle. I really wish they, uh, they made the ending. I don't know, man, dude. Uh, uh, never mind. Uh, keep watching. New land, Rathion played a different role and helped players obtain their legendary cloaks in a long, complicated quest line. This quest line begins with Rathion summoning- The thing is, it was so good as well, man. Like. There were so many storylines and plot lines that was so good. And then they just, oh, it just became so bad, man. Like it became so bad and it was so good. Oh man, how they butchered that yeah. series. Huh? <sighs> she was busy thinking about that zombie John Dick. Oh my, don't even. God damn it, man. And suddenly like, Suddenly, I can't, I can't, I need to, we, let's keep watching the video. I don't, you never really care for them, innocent or otherwise. Like, you don't say that after your whole, like, character development has been about, like, you know, self-betterment and then suddenly just throw everything out the window for, like, to, to screw your own sister. Like, oh, never mind, keep watching. The player character to the Tavern of the Mists to discuss a disturbing Sorry. vision Sorry. he had. Sorry, guys. Ah. If it isn't my favorite master assassin, I was hoping I would find you here in Pandaria. Very good. Let's talk. Tong, drinks please. Oh. My father, Deathwing, Dude, he's rich. tried to destroy the whole of Azeroth. He was misguided, of course. But he was right about one thing. Our world is so fragile. Okay. We are a point of light in a universe of shadow. A candle 
in a tempest. He's very... Okay. Sometimes, I think it was the very precariousness of our world that drove my father to madness. Ah, <laughs> thank you, Tom. Oh, what a nice guy. Now to my point. Dude, he is very I believe angry. we are headed towards a reckoning. And no, I am not talking about the current conflict between the Alliance and the Horde. But the war deeply troubles me. Believe me, what Garrosh Hellscream achieved in Theramore oh, no, yeah. is nothing the incident. compared to the horrors that are even now bearing down on our fragile home. Behold the power of the foe! Do you see my concern? A divided Azeroth cannot possibly stand against the darkness. This war has to end soon before it consumes our strength. I want you to know that your alliance has my full and unwavering support Damn. in this campaign. How do we bring a swift and decisive end to the conflict? I believe the answer lies with heroes like you. Of course. Yeah, while this cutscene played, this guy probably just went to get some milk, you know, maybe some cookies that his mom just made, you know, maybe pet his dog a little bit, and then came back. Uh-huh. <laughs> we must ensure that you are up to the task, and then yeah. equip you accordingly. So during Mist of Pandaria, Riathion had a vision of the Legion invading, an event that would eventually happen two expansions from now. Since Rathion is the new leader of the Black Dragonflight, he had the full responsibility of defending Azeroth, and he would stop at nothing, make sure the people of his world were prepared. This model is his so plan bad. was to have one of the factions dominate and fully conquer the other so that they could be united as one. Now, the faction Rathion allies himself with is entirely dependent on what the faction- Maybe the Jailer sent him the visions? Oh, shut the flip up. Let me try to try biscuit flavored yogurt. I have not tried biscuit flavored yogurt. I'm sorry, Epicari. Action the player character was a part of. So for this video, let's just say it's the Alliance. For the Alliance. Now, most of the legendary quest line is not that remarkable and is mainly just Rathion sending players to go do chores and mm. gameplay related stuff. But yeah. meanwhile, Garrosh Hellscream, War Chief of the Horde, is He's running around warmongering around guys. Pandaria. During this time, he bumps into Prince Anduin of the Alliance, yep. who's protecting an ancient Mogu artifact called the Divine Bell. This is wrong. also one of the funniest cinematics in Warcraft history, because Anduin just spouts a whole bunch of expository dialogue, and Garrosh ignores literally all of it. The Mogu made the Divine <laughs> Bell to create chaos, but the Pandaren created a special mallet to turn the echoes of that <laughs> chaos into perfect harmony. That mallet was hidden. <laughs> no, there's no way you could do... <laughs> There's no way you could destroy the bill. It's going to create chaos. <laughs> and Garrosh is like, yeah, didn't ask, lol. <laughs> Thousands of years until now. Yeah. Die, <laughs> <Well>. <laughs> Didn't ask, lol. After breaking a 10-ton bell over a 15-year-old child, Garrosh then <laughs> runs away like an evil cartoon villain, and somehow Anduin survives. His oh. wounds were tended to, and he found himself recovering in the Tavern of the Mists, where he first met Rathion. The first scene we find of them interacting together is them discussing the mysterious Isle of Thunder, and the recently Ooh. resurrected Mogu leader, Lei Shen. I'm really sad I never got to do that raid, Throne of Thunder. Oh, they're playing a game. Why did you play that piece just now? It's a Pandaren board game. The object is for both players to win. What? That's ridiculous. Why are you guys so sexing? The thunder. Oh, that's why you said they were like, they're just friends, guys. They're just friends. King, what a magnificent individual. Could you imagine what his empire would be like today? If it had not been overthrown and hidden by the Pandaren. I couldn't imagine a crueler tyrant. He enslaved this entire continent. But I can tell you no great empire has ever stood the test of time by mm. crushing its own citizens. Yeah. Remember, the Mogu were yeah. overthrown. That should be the lesson of the Thunder King. It's your move, by the way. I worry you may be too soft to wear your kingdom's crown, Prince Anduin. You would do well to learn some of your father's hardness. Are you lecturing? They're just friends, guys. Okay, they're just friends. 
Okay, they're just friends. Alright, there's nothing wrong with just two, you know, two boys hanging out, you know, bing bong bang, you know, that's how it is. Cheering me. You're what? Two years old? Two in dragon years. <clears throat> it is your move. Champion, oh. return now to the Isle of the Thunder King. Okay. I will meet you at the forge, where together we will create an instrument of legendary power. Wow. To what end? What are you two working towards? World peace. Using a Mogu weapon forge whose powers you barely understand. My dear prince, you and I share the same goals. We only differ in our level of commitment. Okay. Hmm. Come, hero. Let us shape a new Azeroth together. Wow. It's a little like dragon. My friend, if you blindly trust a black dragon in the search for greater power, are you any better than Garrosh Hellscream? Please, just be careful. Look, Anduin, I'm gonna be perfectly blunt with you. Oh. He's talking about loot, and that's all I care about. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. The player Pretty character much. and Rathion then travel to the Isle of Thunder <laughs> and use an ancient Mogu forge to create a legendary yep. gem. I see this loot. I go. Ends with the player character killing Lei Shen, pulling the heart out of the Mogu demigod. And then Rathion we killed the gruel. said heart no DST and trips balls. Oh. I see them. Wait. Oh, there's actually like how the scene is, is in the game. Damn. Like he's sitting there, chilling. A million, million worlds glittering in their perfection. But one above all others. Oh. Oh, we have fallen. We must rebuild the final titan. Do not forget. Okay. For some reason, Rathion eating the heart of a demigod is never brought up in the story ever again. Rathion what? and the player character then travel around to Vandaria that. to receive blessings from the four August Celestials. For the sake of brevity, I'm kind of skipping over this part, and all you really need to know is that the Celestials are giving Rathion wise advice and helping him deal with his daddy issues. Really, it's Wait. just a lot of talking. Welcome what, what, back, what champion. Excellent work with the Celestials. Can you believe how chat- Why, why is Anduin just like always chilling in the back? He's just like, okay. There they were. I just wanted them to hand us our reward, but they would just talk, 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 talk. I'm sorry, where were we? Oh yes, I have something why is for he you. Players are granted with epic capes, but our story isn't wow. over. During the final chapter of our quest line, Rathion mm -hmm. travels to the Timeless Isle and he meets with the bronze dragon named Kairos, who is investigating this strange new island. Kairos, I want you to meet one of my most accomplished of agents. A pleasure. Tell us again why this island is so unique. The presence of the Timeless Isle is proof that many things are possible beyond the boundaries of linear thinking. He's not recovering from... Guys, stop. What if it were possible to shape and mold time as you would a ball of clay? What possibilities await? What new worlds could we create? I like the way you think. Kairos will play a very important role later in our story, so just remember him for now. Okay, okay. so the player does a bunch of tasks around the Timeless Man. Isle, like collecting- I never did this, dude. I didn't play in, in, in Mopman. Believe it or not, guys, I actually, um, I was an IRL. I, I I was an IRL Andy at this point. I I talked to friends. I hung out. I did you know, um, you know, I did, I did IRL things, man. It was crazy. I, I do. I'm a little bit sad I didn't play Mob though. Five thousand timeless Isle coins and defeating all of the four August Celestials by teaming talk, up with talk, a giant talk, raid talk, group. Talk, and then talk, they, talk. So the mist of Pandaria okay. ends with the Alliance and Horde rebels storming into Orgrimmar and putting yeah. an end to Garrosh Hellscream's tyranny. With the Horde at its weakest point, Rathion's what dastardly. Dude, he looks weird, man. I don't. I can't really put a finger on it, but he looks strange. The plan of one faction overthrowing the other was just in reach until King Varian decided to Dude. let them all live and establish peace ass. instead, foiling Rathion's plan and making his venture into Pandaria Vol'jin. ultimately futile. I love Vol'jin. He's so cool. Fools, imbeciles. Dude, he's pissed. A complete waste. He seems very unstable. 
You were there. Is it true, then, what happened in Orgrimmar? That fool king. Okay. I did everything in my power. The whole world was his. He needed only seize it. Oh, sure. Yeah, another he... year of fighting, enormous casualties, trying to take Thunder Bluff, but the rest of the horde would have caved eventually. He's Talk, having a tent, he's yeah. Drink. Now. I thought Hellstream's vic- <laughs> He's literally having a tent. Drink. Now. <laughs> He was assured before he turned half He's of very... his horde against him. So I changed my allegiance. Oh, don't look so surprised. I'm a black dragon. My loyalties are my own. Uh... But that idiot, idiot Rin. Hi, king indeed. Why did he allow another war chief? He could have united the world under the Alliance banner. What a fool I was to trust his ambition. Should have taken over the throne room He's myself. Scared. Like Auntie Anixia. Get things done. Jesus. Enough. Uh, what? Talk, talk, talk. Always you speak. Never do you listen. Oh. You ignore the lessons of Pandaria. You see, there is balance in all things. Wow. Wisdom etched in our very fur. Black and white. Damn. Darkness and light. When the last emperor hid our land from the rest of the world, he also preserved the homeland of our ancient enemy, the man. Talk, talk, talk. This is literally me in school, man. Like, I, 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 I really have bad issues paying attention when people talk for a prolonged time. That's exactly how I feel. This little thing here, man. Talk, 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 talk. You mistake your greatest strength. For weakness. Mm -hmm. Do you see this? What's up, my Jojo? You. You're just a waiter. Oh. I promise you this. Gee. I will stop at nothing to prepare this world for the battle to come. Oh my god. He is pissed. Nothing! <laughs> so, <clears throat> he destroyed my inn. Oh, he no. left no tip. <laughs> he is not nice. No, he's not. So you might be wondering, okay, Rathion is clearly arrogant, but is he really the stupidest dragon in Warcraft? Mm. I mean, he hasn't been that stupid so far, but our story continues in the War Crimes book. Now, this book is one of the more controversial ones because okay. the story that links the Mists of Pandaria expansion to the Warlords of Draenor expansion is entirely explained within this book and is barely touched on in game. And in this book, we see Rathion's true stupidity. Okay. So in the book, the Horde and the Alliance the are all at the Temple of the White Tiger, and Garrosh Hellscream is on trial for all of his heinous crimes. Okay. During Garrosh's trial, Terran Zoo reads his list of crimes, and I will now quote the book directly. <clears throat> okay. For all the acts you committed in your name, or by those with whom you have allied. Genocide, murder, forcible transfer of population, enforced disappearance of individuals, enslavement, the abduction of oh. children, torture, oh. the killing of prisoners, <clears throat> forced pregnancy, and the wanton what? destruction of cities, towns, and what? villages not justified by military or civilian necessity. What say you to these charges, Garrosh Hellscream? Garrosh? And then Garrosh smiles, beginning to slowly applaud, although the chains about his wrists hampered the gesture. Oh, God. The show has barely commenced, <laughs> and I already give it a standing ovation. Dude. This promises to be more entertaining than the Dark Moon Fair. Dude, he... I will not say I am guilty, for that denotes shame. Dude, he... Nor will I protest innocence, for I claim no such. Let the comedy begin. Oh, my God. <laughs> Rathion watched from the stands and thought, Oh, wow. This abhorrent, psychopathic war criminal is just what I need to unify Azeroth. <laughs> During the trial, they use a device called the Vision of Time, which is a giant hourglass that can be used to see past events. The bronze dragons Chromie and Kairos are also at the trial to help. But okay. secretly, Kairos and Rathion team up to break Garrosh out. 
Kairos wants to do this because he is kind of pissed the bronze dragons lost their powers at the end of Cataclysm and wants to help the infinite dragon flight and be more powerful in the process. Okay. Rathion wants to do it because he wants to unify Azeroth under one banner. More about his plan later. Okay, so... <laughs> During the trial, Rathion secretly throws Chromie into a prison, and then Anduin goes to investigate, what? and then Rathion knocks him out. Then Kairos uses the vision of time to you create a portal for Garrosh to escape through. All while this Jeez. is happening, alternate evil timeline versions of the members of- I hate time travel. It is so hard to make time travel work in stories. It is so hard. Uh, usually 99% of the time whenever some like stuff uses time travel it is so difficult to make it like good right oh my god dude I don't know it, it's it's so bad because you can always just make up a stupid excuse well it was because of the time travel like it's I don't know I'm not a big fan of time travel it, it, it can be good if it's done well right but in such a big game and with so much lore that there is in WoW, it's just so difficult to have it be like, makes sense, right? I don't know. ...of the trial teleport into the courtroom yeah. and they start attacking their counterparts. But, but then the August... In Dark, it's done really well. Dark is that German uh, show, right? I haven't, I haven't watched the Dark before. I, I kind of, I kind of, I was going to watch it, but then I didn't because it was in German and I was like, I just wanted to listen to some, something English, so I didn't watch it. Maybe at some point I'll, I'll watch Dark though. Interstellar is insane. That Interstellar is really good. Very good movie. Highly recommend watching Interstellar if you haven't. It was one of my favorite movies. Um, I haven't watched Dark. Maybe at some point I could watch Dark though. I, I just got put off from it because it was in German, but maybe it's good. Maybe it's worth. Celestials are like, no, guys, don't fight. D -d don't you understand? You too could become Garrosh. So they what? don't fight their evil counterparts, and they just talk about their feelings. But then there's also the, the Dragon Maw orcs, and they come in, and they start fighting, and they, oh my god, you what? Okay. That is a really abridged version, but you get the idea. Yeah. Okay, so Rathion's plan. What is it? Okay, here, here, here's what it is. Teleport Garrosh Hellscream to an alternate version of Draenor from yeah. 25 years ago before the orcs drank the demon blood. Garrosh will then unite them as the Iron Horde and then take them to our timeline through the Dark Portal and then use them to ally all of Azeroth under one banner. To unite us and defeat the Legion. Does okay. that mean kill all the Horde and the Alliance in the process? Seems kind of kind of, kind of productive, so I, I, I don't know. We can just figure that part out later. But wait, it gets better. Rathion didn't just want to do this once. He wanted to do this an infinite amount of times. That's right. Time just keep travel. opening up alternate universe Draenors and yeah. keep growing his army. Imagine an alternate Time universe travel. in World of Warcraft history where we get 10 Warlords of Draenor expansions in a uh. row. Does this work? Of course it fucking doesn't. Like, instantly right after Garrosh is teleported to Draenor, he kills Kairos. Wow. So your whole plan relying on an unhinged psychopath who has constantly demonstrated his whole life that he is a loose cannon with anger issues was a bad idea. What, what, who would have guessed? Garrosh then goes to create the Iron Horde and uses the Dark Portal oh no. to invade Azeroth. But the offensive push is instantly defeated, and yeah. we go to alternate Draenor, Garrosh dies in a 1v1, and we destroy the Iron Horde. But, oh, whoops, since we made an alternate Draenor, oh. we also made an alternate Gul'dan, who at the end of Warlords of Draenor is teleported to oh, our wait, world I, and kicks off the I, Legion invasion in the Legion expansion. Oh, so Rathion I, plays a huge role in the Legion invading Azeroth again. Yeah, the okay. very thing I, he was trying to protect us oh, from. I, also, so let's just not ignore the last time the Legion invaded. The Horde and the Alliance won by teaming up, Coming not together. by being under the same banner like Rathion was working towards. That's yeah. He he's literally only causing more problems for us. And with the Third Legion invasion, Varian and Vol'jin die. Oh, yeah. And oh hey yeah, where's Rathion? Uh, oh he's fucking nowhere. The entire expansion. <laughs> Side note: in the Alpha for the Legion expansion. Rathion planned to show up in High Mountain, but during development, he was swapped for a new character named Abyssian, who is what? the oldest uncorrupted black dragon in existence. 
Okay, back to our main story. What? The next time we see Rathion, he just shows up in the next expansion, Battle for Azeroth, oh, and yeah. waltzes into the Stormwind throne room like, oh, hey, sorry about that whole planet-destroying invasion I sparked, but it's okay, because I'm sexy now, and... <laughs> I'm sexy so, yeah, now. The next time we see Rathion is during the last patch of the Battle for Azeroth <laughs> expansion. To make up for his mistake, he helps us in defeating the old god Nazoth, oh, god. which makes sense because it was Nazoth who corrupted oh, his father, okay. Deathwind. This is also kind of a soft reboot of his character since he has Stupid, a new model, Rathion. he grew up into a drake, and he's nowhere near as arrogant, but he is still just as snarky. For an old Can you god- shut the fuck up? Oh. God who claims to see everything, you are blind to the threat before you. So Rathion is kind of like our guide in this patch of the expansion, and we go and retrieve the scales from Rathion's mm. relatives, Onyxia and Nefarian, to make another cloak that helps us resist the corruption yep. of the old gods. Uh, go on. And Sorry. during the final raid, Rathion plays a huge role in defeating Enzoth himself. Oh my god, you know what this reminds me of? You guys remember in Game of Thrones, whenever, you know, this whole, like, you know, the Night King was, like, so badass, and he was such a big threat to the entire world, and it was so scary. And then this little goddamn girl, who randomly is just, like, an insane assassin from, like, another universe, just Stop. pops out of nowhere, and then one shots it. Like, what? I was so hyped to, like figure out like what is the night king what are all those symbols we've we've seen throughout the, the the series right and we just get nothing never mind uh moving on go on did i ask no i guess you didn't huh i guess you didn't sorry like fucking aria out of like i know like uh... <laughs> And that is where our story ends for now. Oh. But we know Rathion is going to play a pretty big role in the Dragonflight yeah, expansion, probably. where he will discover what it truly means to be the leader of the Black Dragonflight. Rathion is an interesting character a lot of players don't know the full story of, yeah. because his story but... is explained to players in a class-specific legendary questline from a decade ago. Yeah. Another legendary questline that was entirely removed from the game and finally, an external that. book that players would have to purchase and read. Which is why I made this video, because flawed, complex, interesting characters like yeah. Rathion are few and far between in the Warcraft universe. That's true, and yeah. I'll be watching with curiosity on what the Black Dragonflight Prince will do next. There go, hold! Dude, good video! Good video! I'll link it in the chat, guys, if you guys want to go give it a watch. Platinum Wow makes some amazing, amazing, amazing videos. Go give it a like, guys. Go check it out. Amazing video. That was really good. I'm so happy that sorry, take the Patreon out. I'm so happy that like we still in the WoW community have people like Platinum WoW, you know, that make so awesome like content and so awesome videos for people to watch about the lore and stuff. It's 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 hey, shut awesome. The fuck up, man. Okay. You guys are ugly and fat. No. Thanks for good vibes smile. Thank you for your good vibes as well. And thank you for the six months worth classes. Thank you very much. It's just, it's awesome. I'm really stoked. I'm really happy that we, um, we have people like Platinum Owl. You know, it's really, really good.